craving of another victory and the chest beating appealing to his base. Yeah. Right? And so... Well, it's voluntary, too. The whole thing is voluntary. Right. The whole thing is voluntary uh, uh, as well. And we know that, you know, we, we know that the facts are going to come out, that the things he said are not true. We already understand <laughs> that, you know. So yeah. we... It, it's interesting because he's he's trying to get a win wherever he can and uh, and give people something to hang on to so he can say that he did X, Y, and Z. And uh, the, the facts be damned in, in, in relationship to this. How, how we are able to, uh, to get past making the jokes about Kofifi and all that other stuff that he does on a, on a daily basis is important. And the Democrats, I know, they've launched this thing called the, the Summer of Resistance every weekend. Yeah. There is organizing and training that's going on starting, starting this weekend, actually, actually June 3rd and 4th. And uh, uh, if we're able to get the House back, uh, the House and the Senate, but if we get the, able to get the House back, I'm telling you that that next day, I have no doubt that impeachment proceedings will start. The Democrats are poised to win at least two seats. Well, they got to win more than that to take back the I House. Understand. Yeah, but. Wait, oh, go on, Mildred. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm just saying we, we've seen some action over in the state of Illinois. And I think Missouri, mm -hmm. where there is there there are some Republicans in trouble. Mm -hmm. um, the the there are some some young organizations, mm -hmm. some younger organizations, um, come based out of Indiana. Sam, I can't think of their name. I interviewed the young man. I talked with a friend of mine um, in Texas. I mean, they are really reaching out here in Michigan as well mm -hmm. uh, to help secure some positions for black Democrats. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's interesting. People are stepping up and they're, and they're running. Yeah, but, you know, I hope it works and that we don't have, again, this, these know-it-all, know white, lib, radical types that know what's best for us. Because that's not how you get out our vote. I mean, they perish. Well, don't you think the here. lesson has been taught? Don't you think they learned that lesson from the... Well, you know what? It's going to depend. <laughs> now, here's what's going to happen. I've seen so many elections. I just realized. It, you I know, know here's what's got to happen. <laughs> and it's the same problem in Detroit. And that is people who represent our people are going to have to start standing and, 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 and telling the truth and not being happy to be in the room. Yeah, just happy to, to, yeah, happy to be there for the hors d'oeuvre. Okay, absolutely. Now, what that might mean, and I think that ultimately what it's going to mean, is going to demand, is that we pull some people out and replace them with people. We have to. I mean, this, I mean, where else on the planet does this kind of foolishness happen? You know, and I look at the type of people, and I, I talked about it on this show. Some of them have even been guests on this show who organized for Hillary Clinton who couldn't organize their way out of a wet paper bag, literally. Yet, because of relationships, they put the same old handkerchief heads in key positions every presidential election or statewide elections. And these people, they get a marginal turnout because they are not connected with real people, with real issues. And the candidates don't reflect the issues and the needs of the people. It's and, terrible. And, and we see these, uh, uh, the results of this all over the place and they're not don't seem to be paying attention to the migration patterns for democratic voters you know uh people of color voters and the way that they're moving through redford southfield mm -hmm. you know i mean there are great gangs that